Hi, everybody. Today is Pancake Day, and we're going to read two books. The first one would be Curious George Makes Pancakes. This is George. George was a good monkey and always was very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George up early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. George loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for the special programs at the Children's Hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there were all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat. But first, he gave a welcome speech. Thank you for all of you coming, the mayor said. We appreciate your generous support. He thanked all the volunteers who were helping that day. And finally, he said, please, please enjoy yourselves and the pancake. When the mayor was finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to buy our tickets. Please wait here and don't be too curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but hmm, something smelled really good. Could it be those pancakes? George was curious. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle full of pancakes. George watched as a man poured a little, a little bit of batter in circles, put them in the air. It looked like fun to make those pancakes. George wanted to help. On a table near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. Those pancakes needed blueberries, George thought, and he sprinkled some on top. Meanwhile, the man at the griddle was busy. He didn't even notice the little monkey helping him, but the line grew and grew. George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everyone wanted them, and the man could not keep up. Please, please wait, he said to someone holding an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me. And just like that, he's gone. George looked at the people waiting in line and then an empty griddle. Why, he could make pancakes. He could be an assistant. George poured the batter into the nice circles. And next he added the blueberries. He waited a few minutes to let the pancakes cook. Then he flipped them over. And at last he added syrup. The line for the pancakes was enormous, but for, with four hands, George made quite the chef, and no one's plate was empty for long. I've been coming to this breakfast for years, said a man, but I've never seen pancakes made like this before. I've never eaten this many pancakes before, said a girl. I didn't even like pancakes before, said another girl, and they all lined up for more. When the man returned with his assistant, he was shocked to see a monkey making pancakes. This is no place for a monkey, he yelled, and he began to chase George. George hadn't meant to cause trouble. He just wanted to help. Now he was only on and now he only wanted to get away. Quickly, George found a plate and hid, place to and hid, and the man and his assistant ran right by him. The 
Where did George go? When it was safe to come out, George jumped down. He was covered in syrup like a pancake, and he was sticking to everything. George was curious. Could these napkins help him get clean? No, the napkins made it worse, and when George needed with some water to wash with. Why, here was the perfect thing. George climbed in. This would do the trick for a sticky monkey. George sat on the bench and splashed himself with water. But all of a sudden, splash! George was in the water. What a surprise. George climbed up again and splashed back down. He had never been in a duck tank before and had never seen had so much fun getting clean. Soon everyone was having fun and the line at the dunk tank even grew longer than the line for pancakes. Later the mayor came by. I've heard of all about your delicious pancakes, he said. You've made our fundraiser a big su success and I have a special favor to ask you. At the end of the day, George got to present the money from the fundraiser to the president of the hospital. Thanks to you, George, this has been our best year ever, he said. Will you come back and make pancakes again next year? George nodded and everybody cheered. The end. That was a great story about pancakes. I have one more to read to you. This is one of my favorite because I love this author, If You Give a Pig a Pancake. If you give a pan pig a pancake, she'll want some syrup to go with it. You give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She, she might want, she might feel homesick and want to visit. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then, she'll go under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find an old tap some old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece, and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. She'll have to get, you'll have to go get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want you to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her, take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard and she'll want to build a tree house.
So you'll have to get her some nails and wood and a hammer when the tree house is finished. She'll want to decorate it, so she'll ask for some wallpaper and glue. When, when she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get, you'll get all sticky, and feeling sticky will remind her of her favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some more. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, She'll want you to make pancakes to go with it. Hey, if that doesn't make you want to go make pancakes with your parents or your family, I don't know what does, but that makes me hungry. So we have a recipe in your folder, again, that you can use to make some pancakes. Um, we also um, had something very fun we'd like to do. We thought it would be fun, since we can't do flip the pancakes, for you to get a pillow. It's like this. This isn't exactly round. You don't make square pancakes. But we thought it would be fun to flip those pancakes back and forth. So if your parents let you do this, this would be a lot of fun, because um, if you give a pig a pancake, that's exactly what he does. He flips uh, pancakes. All right. I hope you all have fun with this. It was a lot of fun doing this. We hope that you get to make pancakes. Um, goodbye for now. Bye.